Hey folks, welcome back. I want to show you a little issue that we're having here um, with the tent. Uh, notice this cement board. If you saw the previous video, updated that. The gate, a little bit too much heat, so just uh, got a little more cement board with it. Now, we've got some water that is coming in the stove, and you'll see down here on the floor. We got a lot of rain about two inches of rain the other day and there was something when I was installing this that I thought might have been a problem and I think I know what the fix is so because I had the cap on the top and I didn't want to push the cap through this I brought this pipe down from the outside in this is six inch uh, pipe and what happened is in doing that this fabric got pushed down here now we have a rain fly over the top of this and so the rain fly is rolled back there's a little opening rolled back with the fire resistant uh, fabric that's installed here but what I think is happening is I think that this uh, because this goes down that we're getting some capillary action. The water is coming down here and then it can get inside the stove pipe here at the seam, which is what you want. You want it inside, you want the creosol to come down. And so what I'm going to try, sort of solution one is, I'm gonna take this off and instead of pushing from the outside in, I'm gonna push from the inside out and I'm gonna see if that one little difference um, helps uh, this to be much uh, better at keeping the rain out. If that doesn't work, I'm going to get a sleeve. They have these specific sleeves that you can get um, that screw in on there. So uh, somewhere, I, I don't have my phone jack with me today, so I'm not going to be able to record all this, but I'll, I'll uh, get going on this and uh, show you what the finished product looks like. All right, so I got it back together and as you can see now, we've pushed the tent, the stove up from the inside. And so now that fabric is, is kind of pushed up here. And I've just sort of, um, on this back end of it, just kind of, it's got the tension. So just sort of pushed it up on the pipe to get that kind of sloping effect uh, coming down here. See that little stitching there? I don't know if that's an issue or not. I also put a new damper in. Um, person that we bought this from the damper had the spring had kind of broken on it so see how that works so I'm going to clean out this get the wet, wet stuff out of here and uh, see if we can't get a fire going and uh, hopefully this will dry up what we have in here and then keep it dry from now on how oh, I'll keep you updated and uh, if not then I'll have to add another thing um, let me show you the let me show you the pipe outside. I added a I added another section up there um, on the top because my understanding is that you want the the top of the pipe to be above the ridge of your tent there um, on it. So the little the very top section of it I didn't screw together. So. Um, there is a chance that if it was a real strong wind, that could become an issue. But uh, if that happens, I can, I can always reattach it and screw it on. So, let me know if you think it's going to work or not. I'm going to say that so far the results are that this is a success. It's been raining pretty hard for about 30, maybe 45 minutes, and we haven't had any dripping coming through here on this and when I was here the other day during the rain we had quite a bit of dripping coming through here so um, you know we haven't seen it all yet so can't guarantee but so far so good like that video see you later